Today on Trend, Stewart shows us how to take spec finishes to the next level of luxury. Millwork design is so much more than just kitchen cabinetry. And we bring air purification into the office space the natural way. Ingrid, we're back in the Aria, which happens to be one of my favorite buildings in Victoria. This is also one of the most nicely renovated suites that I've seen. And I can't agree with you more, Amy, and welcome back. This is my second client who purchased a unit with the intent of either investment mm -hmm. or um, renovation and resale. And not only does the Aria have a great reputation for quality and of course the stellar location, mm -hmm. but the array of amenities, there's not a lot of buildings that offer the lounge area, the recreation facilities, the full fitness gym, mm -hmm. uh, the concierge, Duane is just fabulous at the front yes, desk. Yeah. And I really have a lot of confidence when my clients are looking at mm -hmm. this particular building for an, an investment opportunity. And so I met Anthony a few years ago, called me on one of my listings, he and his wife and two lovely little daughters looking for their new full-time home coming from Vancouver. And we just struck up a great relationship going forward. Mm -hmm. And once he was settled and renovated his home, he had that itch, he had the passion to carry on and, and see what other project he could accomplish. I understand that hands down. <laughs> and Anthony, being born in France, raised in Paris, mm -hmm. has that extra creativity and that a uh, little bit of European flair that mm -hmm. you can see evidenced in this beautifully and custom renovated condo. Mm -hmm. His ability to work with um, new style products but fitting in the old world charm, yes. including the attention to detail on the hardwood which has the herring bow inlay mm -hmm. and it just reminds me of being in a Parisian apartment. What I love too is you can take materials like IKEA product, that sort of thing, and it really comes down to the install. So he's done a magnificent job of making things extremely custom while using product that was off the shelf. Um, seeing that design detail and really making it top notch. And that's, I think, truly unique. There mm -hmm. are some variety of services like that in Victoria, but they typically would just either do their own custom, which mm -hmm. comes at a cost, yeah. or they would just do straight off the shelf IKEA, which is yes. great because IKEA products are good quality, yeah. but it just doesn't have that extra finesse and that extra flair. And it just takes a few little tricks to get away from the basic that make it look like a high-end custom, that really make it work better and a lot of people don't know that. You have to kind of be really good at the tools or able to finesse things having done it before, that sort of thing. You can make it look higher end and custom using a prefab product. And that definitely shines through, like the custom bookshelf that he's mm -hmm. incorporated into the very spacious living room, not only gives you great practical space and storage, which we all can use, absolutely, but also uh, is a feature and it looks custom. It and does. The, the accent with the, the dark wood and the lighter tones, mm -hmm. and it just really sets uh, a, a nice presentation for not a typical condo. When you first walk in, this two bedroom, two bath, has a fantastic layout with the separation of bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Being south facing, the amount of natural light is extraordinary here and has a beautiful Gorgeous. view over to the trees and St. Anne's Academy. Mm -hmm. But again, you just feel like you're a bit of a world away and yes. something refreshing and unique that is sought after in Victoria with renovations being timely and mm -hmm. a little cost prohibitive right now in this current Absolutely. market. Yes, everything, lead times are so long on everything right now because of demand and supply issues and everything that's led up to that.
So is this something that I could bring Anthony in to help me work with my clients? I think so. I think this has really sparked a, a new venture and a, a new mm -hmm. opportunity for Anthony to really showcase his creativity uh, along mm -hmm. with his wife. She helped yeah. with a lot of the color choices. Pam also has that creativity side of her and she created this beautiful hand-drawn illuminated light fixture. Again, that just really showcases what these two can accomplish. And I'm really excited for their future. Michelle, you guys have such a huge selection of product here in the showroom. I'm always amazed and it's funny because I always find exactly what I want. <laughs> a lot of people come in and they're just sometimes overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. so it's nice to have an idea of what you're looking for, but we have a lot of options to show you and a lot of different finishes, everything to kind of customize how you want it to look. And I think customization is the key word. Or, I mean, it can be a stock item, but really creating the luxury that you want in your home, starting from the front door. Exactly. So things as simple as the mailbox. It seems simple, but that's something that you really want to choose and make sure it's the right style for your home. Exactly, and basic kind of, you know, what you choose for your front door hardware, mm -hmm. you can go to the mailboxes. We've got a couple of different finishes for the mailboxes, for the house numbers, for all those things. And we do try to keep mailboxes and house numbers in stock all the time. So they're, because they're usually kind of last minute thing. Yeah. Nobody thinks about them then, oh no, I need this, so. Yet it's the first impression of your home. To me, it's so important. I can't tell you how many times you go to a beautiful, luxurious home and then they just have a plastic doorbell on the wall. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We've got most of the suppliers, when you get your door hardware, they will have doorbells that will match what you're choosing. Exactly, and it doesn't have to be a super expensive one. It can be really high-end and luxury, but just something a little bit better that really suits the style of the home, whether that's a beautiful traditional home or something really modern. Exactly, exactly. We've got color, the backlights, all the different choices. You can build your front door besides just the hardware. And even with the numbers, it's great that you brought that up because I find it so important, even with the font of the numbers, people have a beautiful modern home mm -hmm. and then they go super traditional on yeah. the style of the numbers. Exactly. But you guys have so many different ones that you can really tailor that look. Yeah, we've got modern, we've got traditional, we've got kind of transitional numbers. You can kind of go either way. Mm -hmm. And then the finish too makes a difference. We've got the satin brass numbers, we've got the polished nickel numbers, we've got the black numbers. Exactly. And then I also tell people too all the time, um, the front door is your first impression. So it's not just the look of the door, but also the feel of the handle. You want something that really feels sturdy and comfortable, and that also is gonna provide great security as well. Exactly, there's lots and lots of different options. You can go with the forged metals, you can go with the cast uh, door handles, you can go, there's many, many different options for all the different budgets as well. Mm -hmm. And you can tie that in with your interior door handles, or you can do something completely different because it's kind of standalone. Exactly, it, it absolutely is. A lot of people will tie it with the same thing, even the same finish. It may not look the same, but have the same kind of feel through the whole house. Mm -hmm. But you can do completely different. And a lot of the times the outside looks different than the inside, so you don't want it to look exactly the same. It's true. And a lot of the door handles you can do split finish. So you can do a darker finish on the outside, then you can go with a lighter one on the inside if you want. And one of the trends that I love as well, some of your interior door handles, you can actually switch up the finishes and the texture of the levers and such. I think that's so cool. Exactly, and it looks really neat. It's like that mixed metal kind of idea and you can <laughs> run with it. Like if you go with the same brand, you can go cabinet hardware. Everything can match or everything can be different. It's really how you want to customize your own home. Some of the other items even like floor registers, barn door hardware, hinges, you can really customize all of them. Yeah, exactly. Different finishes, different metals, all the materials. We keep some barn trucks in stock. We keep the mailbox and the hinges, all those things we try to keep in stock in the different finishes, different sizes. There's lots of options. Well, thank you so much for showing me around today and everything that you have to offer. Thanks for coming in. Welcome to Tallwood One in Langford. It's a build by Design Build Services. We're up in the penthouse and they are so cool, these units. They're all a little bit different, but all with their own style. 
What I love the most about what you're seeing behind me here in the kitchen is this very unique tile. In all of the units, we've done something a little bit different and yet they all have their own great appeal. There's so many opportunities to use gorgeous tile, whether it's in the kitchen, the bathroom, you can do it in the shower walls, on the bench, anywhere really, and have some fun with it. In both of these units, they're completely different styles. One's a bit more traditional, one's a bit more modern. In the modern unit, the client wasn't scared to have a bit of fun with it. The powder room speaks for itself. It's so stunning. The black and white contrast, the bit of texture to the tiles. The backsplash in the kitchen is a concrete tile and has such a wonderful design to it. It really adds the color to the space. And then in contrast, in the other unit, things are a little bit softer with the marble look, a little bit more natural stone, yet they both look so stunning. Mike, this is such a stunning home and it's a great example for what you guys do for millwork and cabinetry. This unit behind us here is so impressive. Yeah, we find now that many people are coming in potentially say for their kitchen right. and they're then wanting to carry a theme across into maybe the dining or living room. Mm -hmm. In fact, even into the vanities in the bathrooms as well. So this is an example where we carry the kitchen theme into the entertainment unit behind us. And really allowing for storage and a lot of functionality in all the rooms, not just the kitchen. That's correct. And I think that today, you really do require a lot more storage. I'm not mm -hmm. quite sure what that's all about, but- We just know, have a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, people find that they really can use spaces and this really gives an awful lot of room for, for storage. Well, and I love the design of this because before um, when the client purchased the home, it didn't have anything surrounding the fireplace. And with these high vaulted ceilings, it kind of just got lost and the scale wasn't there. That's correct. And that was one of the things that they were looking at was was how do we make this inviting and functional and at the same time give it the feeling of grandness that just right. wasn't there. And you have all of the space to do this. And because it is kind of an open concept now after the renovations, the finishes on the built-in cabinetry here and the kitchen. So it's cherry wood. And then Correct. what is the darker accent? The dark stain is a custom stain we call witchcraft. So mm -hmm. it's very much along the line of say an ebony. So it really is a dark. Um, it does allow some of the cherry wood reds to come through a little mm -hmm. bit and it's kind of a fun color. Well, and it's nice because it sort of breaks it up without having too much of the cherry finish. Correct. Wood is lovely, mm -hmm. but anybody who's walked into a cabin that's all wood realizes very quickly mm -hmm. there can be too much. And there's so many different ways to do that, whether it's with a stain or a paint, you guys have all the options and can really help the clients come up with a look that works for them. Exactly. We find that we're doing a lot more samples for people so they can see ahead of time exactly what yes. they're going to get. And because we have the capacity within our building to do all of the um, stain and, and paint painting, et cetera, it gives us an opportunity to really dial into what they're looking for. And I think too, you can also really customize the color. You can also customize the measurements, the size, what it, exactly it is that you're building. So whether it's a wet bar downstairs in the rec room, vanities, built-in media room, you guys can kind of tackle the entire house. Yeah, we're. I think I'm pretty lucky. We've got a team of, of individuals who have a special set of skills. Mm -hmm. And one of the things they have a, as a characteristic is they love to do different things. Right. And so our clients, when they ask for the strange and wild and wonderful, it actually excites our folks to try to deliver that. And we think that's a special offering we have. And everybody has a little bit different um, set of needs and all houses are different as well. So really being able to work around the challenges to get what they want. It's true. A lot of units, it's against the wall. Well, mm -hmm. the wall may not be true or straight or square. And there is it are ever? <laughs> Almost never. Yeah. Um, and so the, the plan is to make sure that they get what they are hoping to get, not mm -hmm. just the facsimile that they have a lot of faults and flaws. Yeah, and not having a bunch of dead space that's not good for storage and wasted, essentially. Absolutely. Well, and this does look great and it does look awesome. Thank you very way. much. We're glad to share. Go global with Newport Realty and Christie's International.
From Paris to the vine-covered countryside to the beaches on the Atlantic and Mediterranean coast, the lifestyle options are many. This is France. France is the most visited country on earth and one of the safest real estate investment markets in the world. Ideally located between Nice and Villefranche-sur-Mer is this magnificent Bastide. With the charm of yesteryear and a breathtaking view, the property opens onto a large reception room and a bright living room. It opens onto a garden terrace, offering an exceptional panorama. There's five bedrooms, including a very large primary with an ensuite and terrace sea views. Note, when buying a property in France, hire an attorney that speaks English and French. I'm Cam Northover, going global with Newport Realty and Christie's International. It's so exciting to be here today. I have heard so much about your product and you and don't really know a lot about it though. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here at our office at Bang Government in Victoria, BC. Our product is an air purifier. Sometimes when you look at it, people think, why are the plants behind glass? I think it's pretty fancy and cool, but there's gotta be a reason for it. Yeah, we wanted to make it look beautiful, mm -hmm. but we've hidden all of the mechanical and kind of what I would say the ugly bits right. down below. Mm -hmm. But the bottom is a typical air purifier. It has two MERV filters. It also has water and a fan, a motor, electrical. The air comes in through the bottom of the pinnacle, right. travels through two MERV filters, mm -hmm. MERV 14 and 13, and then it comes through our biofilter. But that's our secret sauce. It's not just a beautiful display and feature in the space, it's actually purifying the air. It is, and not only does it purify air with the filters, which mm -hmm. clean larger particles, 2.5 parts per million and right. bigger, but then our plants can clean up to the parts per billion. So they've been genetically enhanced with a liver enzyme. Wow. Just to give you a little bit more information on that, because mm -hmm. it is sciencey, right? Yes. So yes. sometimes, you know, I need Bill Nye to come by <laughs> exactly. and explain it in layman terms. But basically what the plants do is the same as your liver or my liver, mm -hmm. they metabolize gas. So right. when you have carpets, glues, paints, um, all the cooking toxins, oils, really. yeah, volatile organic compounds or toxins, off-gassing, mm -hmm. that's what the plants remove. Right. And normal filters, that passes right through because it's too small. It's up to the parts per billion. And why is it important? You know, a lot of times people, especially in Victoria, because it's yes. so beautiful here, mm -hmm. say, our air is so clean. Like, we don't really need an air purifier or we have an HVAC system that has MERV 14 or right. higher filters on it. Right. Why do we need a standalone air purifier in mm -hmm. the office? Right. So the reason we do is because, first off, our filters that are in these units mm -hmm. that have been working for three months, last week we pulled them out, they're black. Wow. And we have so you a, just don't realize how much is in the air. Yeah, you don't realize. And we have a MERV 14 HVAC system on this building. Mm -hmm. So that's passing through a quite high level HVAC system. Right. And if we weren't captured in there, my staff would be breathing that in every day. We're just taking it all into our bodies. Yeah. Yeah, and then with the addition of the plants, we remove those particles you can't even see or smell or mm -hmm. anything. And mm -hmm. it's hard to prove in real life because air is moving, doors open. Right. But our plants have been found in laboratory to remove 82% of benzene and 100% of chloroform. Compared to regular plants, wow. it's actually an urban myth. Plants don't remove toxins. Wow. But yours do. But ours do, yeah. yeah. What's the maintenance like on something like this? So we're a new company. We've been in existence for three and a half years. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, because nothing is more important to us than our brand and our customers, mm -hmm. we're doing the first year free. Right. We're coming in a lot more regularly than we ever will need to, just right. to make sure everything's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, but really all we're doing at those maintenance visits is filling up the water. 
So, you know, it's that very, easy. very simple to do. And we actually have sensors on the machines that will tell us when the water's low. Wow. So in the future, it'll be very easy for us to just have our clients have an app. It will go ding, fill the water. We actually envision having a little, kind of like a gas tank where they can just fill it without even opening it. Oh, amazing. So that's coming, but in the beginning, we really just wanted to be there and yeah. make sure our customers are loving it. Which they are. Yeah, we've had a great um, uptake in Victoria. Mm -hmm. Czech Studios has one of our units, Tourism Victoria, yes. um, the Bay Center, Cushman Wakefield, and also in Vancouver, we have units at the Bentel Center in four locations right now, in addition to a lot of other clients over there as well. And a healthy environment just really helps with productivity as well. It does. Um, health is really important to me. Mm -hmm. um, I actually spent 14 years as a provincial lawyer prior to starting the company. Right. And you know, every day at two or three o'clock, I was usually going to get chocolate or coffee. Yeah. And now I've realized that's probably because the air wasn't that great. Right, you just needed that to keep you going. Yeah, and the windows don't open, right? Since the 80s, we've made all of our buildings airtight. So we need to be able to, I don't know, have air moving inside and what better way to do it than when, with a beautiful pinnacle that looks pretty. Biophilic effects also increase productivity. People love plants, right? They do, it's so true. And thank you so much for bringing us here and showing us this amazing product. Oh, you're welcome. It's been an absolute pleasure having you. Yeah. Mm -hmm.